This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is an OnGuard Boxer Disc Brake Lock. It's the model 8052. This lock is designed to be fitted around the disc brake rotor of a motorcycle, thus immobilizing a wheel and deterring most forms of rollaway theft. I want to first talk about what I think they got right on this lock. The one feature that I really like is the fact that the bolt interlocks with the back of the caliper. I think this may make the lock somewhat resistant to my bolt extractor exploit, though I may test that in a future video. The lock also has a moderately pick-resistant core. It is a dual sidebar design with each sidebar controlled by a separate bank of four sliders, so eight sliders total. Now, what I don't like about the lock is that it appears to have a cast zinc construction. That's not a particularly strong material, and it is subject to heat, prying, and sawing attacks. Another problem may lie in the way in which the core is secured into the housing. There's a few particularly weak portions which may be subject to pulling or torquing attacks. Again, something I may test in the future. But today, we're going to see what it takes to pick this open, and then I will take it apart to show you what's inside. I'm going to put some tension in the top of the keyway right there. And to move those sliders, I'm going to be using this standard hook in 18 thousandths, inserting it sideways and twisting it to lift each of those sliders up. Okay, starting on the right side, number one is binding. Got to click there. Nothing on two. Got to click out of three and a pretty deep uh, set on this. I think that may mean all of the sliders on the right side are set. Let me just check them again. Two, three, four. Yeah, I think we're done with the right side. Let's move over to the left side. Nothing on one, little click on two, nothing on three, and nice click out of four, back to the beginning, nothing on one, nice click out of two, nothing on, oh no, click out of three, nothing on four, nothing on one, click out of two, click out of three, and we got it open. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Before I take it apart, I should note that this lock is not designed to be disassembled. If we look at the screw that allows us to take it apart, you can see that there is a ball bar bearing that is hammered and epoxied in place. However, when they did install it, they installed it a little bit too deep, so I can still get a bid on this. Fortunately, this doesn't compromise security, but it is a quality control issue. So let's take that screw out and then we'll be able to remove the entire core. Okay, now that we have this core out, let me bring the pinning tray over. I'm going to have to use a different size Allen screw to remove one more, I'm sorry, Allen bit, to remove one more screw. Once we have that out, should be able to slide the whole core out the front. Okay, now that we have this core out, let me zoom in briefly so you can take a look at this. You can see the tops of our eight sliders. We have a sidebar on one and the other sides. Okay, let me start this by dropping these sidebars out. Okay, and as you saw, I already lost two of my sliders. They popped out. I'm not sure which is which, so I'm just going to put them next to each other and figure it out when I put this back together. Okay, there's the sliders on the right side, and here's the sliders on the left. You can see that there is a small nub sticking out from one side. That's what engages with the key. And I do not see any false gates on these at all.
Okay, let me give you a close-up of these sliders. Okay, again, as you can see, nothing particularly unusual about them. Actually, I may have to take that back. There may be some false gates in here. Yes, they actually do have tiny little false gates. I'm not sure the sidebar could actually fall into those little notches, but it certainly would trip things up just a little bit. And it looks like it's only on the number two cut sliders. Okay, that's interesting. I certainly didn't feel the false gates, but there are a couple of there. Okay, so that's all I have for you on this on, on guard boxer model 8052 disc brake lock. If you have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.